Now, Norfolk State and Hampton University both had to postpone their basketball games because of snow, and just about every other sporting event in the area had to be put on hold as well, except for the Old Dominion Lady Monarchs. Because Western Kentucky was already in town, the two teams just figured, we'll play. But let's just say the attendance fell a little short of a sellout. As the snow fell outside, the sounds of a Division I basketball game echoed through a near-empty Ted Constance Center. It was different, honestly. No band, no student section, and scattered through the thousands of empty seats, a group of less than a hundred devoted basketball fans. The snow couldn't stop me. I'm the number one fan of the Old Dominion Monarchs. I'm a former player and I come to every home game. Shakiva Richards wrapped up a four-year playing career for the Lady Monarchs herself just a few years ago. It's kind of weird because I'm usually always the loudest one, but I feel like everybody can hear every word I'm saying tonight. <laughs> Why not just have a nice walk in the snow and enjoy a nice basketball game? The ODU swim and dive team had a ball while others were just fighting the snow blues. We were sitting around bored, so I mean, I found out that the game, the girls were having a game on Twitter, so we decided to come. Needed something to do. As for the Lady Monarchs, a strange outing to have home court advantage without the help of a home crowd. We're so used to having a packed crowd, and I think that helps us. And we're top 10% in the country in attendance. Uh, and we've been very successful here on our home floor. So that was a little weird not to be able to hear all the voices, and you can kind of hear yourself talk through everything. Not the ending the fans had hoped for. A cold defeat for Coach Karen Barefoot as conference contender Western Kentucky did just enough down the stretch to escape snowy Norfolk with a 67-62 win. We wanted to pull out this win so bad for them, it would have been a big one for us. 